Hey guys, welcome back. Todd Huey here with Lone Star Boars. We're going to start a new series. It's going to be basic, the basics of hog hunting, how to hog hunt. And we're going to start it out with today what firearms to choose. There's many different styles of hunting. You may be hunting for meat, you may be hunting for a trophy boar, you may be doing eradication like what I do, helping out the farmers, the ranchers. They may be tearing up your property and you're trying to wipe them out. So there's many different farms and styles of farms and calibers to choose. I'm going to go over, uh, show you what I think is best, some of the ones that work really well and some of the ones that um, may not work so well. So this is based out of hunting these in Texas. In Texas, hogs are an invasive species. They, that you can hunt them 24-7, 365 days a year, and with whatever that you can legally own. If you can legally own it, you can hunt feral hogs with it. So we're going to go in and look at some of these, uh, these, the choices that you have. All right, guys, I got some of my rifles laid out here. We're going to go over the advantages and the different types here. Again, this is very basic stuff, um, but hopefully you'll learn something out of it. As you see here, I have all kind of stuff laid out. To start with, this is probably the most common hunting rifle still today in the US. It is a bolt action rifle. This particular one is an older uh, Remington 700 from the 80s. It's the very first rifle that I bought with my own money. It's chambered in 308. 308 is an excellent caliber for hunting hogs. The advantages to these, usually bolt guns are, are fairly light, they're very reliable, and they're usually very accurate. The disadvantages, limited magazine capacity now some of the newer bolt guns that are coming out are real fancy they almost look like an AR-15 you can get um, extended magazines or they come where they take P-Mags and such and if you can work the action quick enough you can be very effective with a bolt gun but your standard bolt gun is limited to you know four or five rounds for the traditional hunter that that is all you need really you're going after a hog for meat or a trophy boar, you're not trying to eradicate them, go no further. Get you a good caliber uh, bolt gun, 308, 270, I mean even 243, anything with a little bit of knockdown power. The, the, high, the bigger calibers like 308 and stuff, all that is is insurance if you don't hit your mark. That's extra insurance to knock the animal over and get a clean kill. Next up here, we have just your AR-15. This is quickly becoming the what everybody uses, especially down here in Texas. This particular one is an LWRC chambered in 5.56, or it will also 5.56 will also shoot 223. The advantages: very light rails to hook all kind of options to all kind of optics, lasers night vision, whatever, high capacity magazines, all that stuff is, is very, very good for hog hunting. Even the traditional hunter, you, you um, would do fine with this. You can carry it out in the field. It's very light again, very accurate. The disadvantage it, for this particular one is, is the caliber, 5.56, 223. Yes, you can kill hogs with 5.56, 223. I've killed hogs with subsonic 22. It, it is possible, shot placement is king. But as I just spoke on the bolt gun, larger calibers give you more insurance. If the hog moves, if you flinch, if anything happens and you don't hit right on your mark, there is a higher percentage with 5.56 five, for the animal to run off. For traditional hunting, you have a, a better chance of getting you know, your ear hole shot or where you need to hit. But for eradication, where they're running away, if if you don't hit right right where you want to hit, a lot of times they're going to keep on running and take multiple hits. And that's not what any of us want. We're not here to wound them. We're here to, to kill them and make it as quickly as possible. If 5.56 five, is all you have, then by all means, go out and hunt and use it. But pick your ammo wisely. Pick premium ammo, something that is bonded or an all-copper like the Barnes bullets and pick the heaviest in my opinion at least the heaviest bullet that you can get that your barrel will stabilize 
to get good penetration and get in there and do some damage in the vitals. Next up, your AR-10s. This is a LWRC CSAS. It is chambered in the forever popular 308. It is one of my favorite calibers. 308 hits hard. It does a lot of damage. It's common and you can find the ammo cheap. Any Walmart, any academy you go in, you're going to have 308 ammo. The disadvantage to an AR-10 is it's heavier than the 556. You you have all the advantages of a in fact now you can even get the 25 round P mags for it. this is a 25 round P mag in it right now. So you have the advantage of the power, high back, high uh, capacity magazines, everything else. The only trade off I can think of is they weigh more, or you do have some muzzle climb when you're shooting fast. But if you equip it with a suppressor, muzzle climb is usually for me at least has been a thing of a pass. Um, I really, really like the AR-10s. They're probably one of the best things that you could pick to hog hunt. Next up, which has been my main go-to for the last several years, are the AR-15s chambered in 6.8. 6.8 has 80% of the power of 308 with basically back to 5.56 lightness, uh, lightness, accuracy, and recoil. No muzzle climb, very little recoil with almost the power of this. So this is a good trade-off in between the 5.56 and the 308. You have almost the best of both worlds here. Now when you come to the short barrel, again, you have a lot smaller package. It's easier to carry if you're getting in and out of trucks, climbing in blinds, going on ATVs. Short barrels are awesome. A lot of people like them. The disadvantage to short barrel is you got to pay a $200 tax stamp. The other disadvantage is you lose uh, power, you lose velocity, and in some calibers handle it better than others. 6.8 handles it very well. The 300 Blackout handles it very well. I found the 7.62 by 39 seems to do the best and hit the hardest out of a short barrel. This particular one right here is a 12 inch barrel. This is what they call the Mutant. It's a CMMG Mutant. It's an AR-15 that is chambered to shoot the 7.62 by 39 which is the original AK-47 round and take AK-47 magazines. This particular one is another short barrel. It's only 10 inch barrel. It's, it's shorter than a uh, 16 inch, a full 16 inch AR-15 even with a suppressor on here. The advantage to 7.62 by 39 is you can get high quality premium ammo like the cavity back bullets or you can get the Wolf 154 grain soft point or the Tula 154 grain soft point. I found it as low as, as $12 for a box. You can go out and blast and it it seems to be effective even out of the short barrel rifle. I'm very impressed with it. Small package that hits hard. Is, are you going to be shooting way out with it? But No, but within 100 yards or a truck gun or close cover, this thing is awesome. Another old standby, which a lot of us have hunted with. This is actually what I very first started hunting hogs with. This is the Marlin Guide Gun, the GBL. The advantages to this is, is again, it's lever action, it's reliable, it's short, small package, very easy to get in and out of blinds, walk around with. The disadvantage, well, another, before we go to disadvantage, another advantage is it's 4570. I'm shooting 405 grain bullets. So whatever I hit, it pretty much knocks them down. I've had some hogs take multiple rounds. I've had hogs run off from them. I've had hogs run off from every caliber, but for the most part, it knocks them down. It, it hits hard. But at that same time, it has a muzzle climb. If you're trying to, if you're a traditional hunter and you're going after that big trophy boar, it's an awesome caliber. If you're trying to do eradication and kill as many as you, you can, not so great. You have muzzle climb and the original God gun took uh, five rounds. This GBL takes seven rounds. So your, your magazine capacity is very, very limited and it is not what I would recommend for any kind of 
eradication work or pest control work. Next up, we have your 12 gauge shotgun. 12 gauge shotgun, everybody has one. There's all kind of ammo available for it, buckshot, slugs. It is great for up close and personal. Um, hogs under 150 pounds, buckshot is devastating on little ones you can get multiples with a, a blast the problem i've run into is it seems like every time i load buckshot i run into a big bore the buckshot does not penetrate the shield or the shoulder on a big bore most time or even the skull a lot of times unless you're at point blank range so i recommend carrying slugs uh, something like these winchester razor bore or yeah razor bores they're designed to penetrate they hit hard and they are uh, a huge huge chunk of lead that you're shooting out there it will will knock them over it will put even the lo ho largest hogs down we skipped one here this is it's not an AR-15 it's not an AR-10 uh, CMG calls it a I don't know, a, a mid AR-15. It is the anvil, and this particular one is chambered in the 458 SOCOM. Again, just like the 4570, thing hits like the hammer of Thor. If you're going out and traditional hunting for meat or for a trophy boar, and you're killing one hog, <laughs> It's hard to go wrong with this thing unless you're trying to take long range shots. It shoots 300, there's all kind of ammo from this, from 300 grains all the way up to 500 grains. And pretty much everything that I tried in it just slams them down to the ground. If you're into pest control and you're trying to clear them off your property, probably not the best choice. Again, seven round capacity, muzzle climb, uh, it's just not a good pest control item unless when I when I use it is when I go back into the thick areas when the corn's high where I need to shoot through brush it has the mass to go through all that vegetation and stuff and still kill the hog so if it's going to be an area where I have limited visibility and I'm going to have limited shots anyway where I'm not going to get very many shots but it needs to count that's when the 458 SOCOM comes out and it, it does miracles at that. I'm gonna go over here and just show you, uh, for most of you will know, but for the people that don't know or don't haven't seen, here's all the different bullets. You got your standard 556. This is your 300 blackout here, which is a 556 case with a 30 caliber bullet. Your 7.62 by 39, your original AK-47 ammunition. Here's your 6.8, which is a 270 bullet, but with a case that will fit into a standard AR-15. Here's your big honking 458 bullet. And then here is the 308 that is very common and packs a punch. Put this 556 over here next to those guys and you can see that there's just a major difference so i hope this helps some people uh, please comment below if there's something some questions that you have about hog hunting if there's a, a video we're going to do videos on optics day optics night optics suppressors what my picks are the reasons that i that i pick them and um, some other things. If there's, a, if there's a topic that you think that I should uh, talk about, let me know in the comments. Please like this video. If um, you have not, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.